Alright, hey guys, so um, before this video begins, thank you so much for 400 subscribers. We now have more people subscribed to my channel than people who can fit into a Boeing 747, the second biggest passenger jet ever produced in the world, and the longest. So if I was to go on a plane trip with you guys and all of us had to be on the same plane, we can't even fit inside a Boeing 747 anymore. We had to freaking upgrade to the A380. So for this 400 subscriber special, not really because I'm probably going to be doing this every year. Today I got the idea of comparing the two responses that I gave out for my questions of time series that I do every New Year's. Kind of like what Vanity Fair does to Billie Eilish. Basically she answers the same questions every year and each year they compare her answers to the year prior. I figured this would be a good implement for my my questions of time I asked myself every year. So uh, here are the comparisons of my questions of time. Hope you enjoy. My name is Oscar Liang. My Chinese name is Liang Haoran and my online alias is Mighty Eagle 073 My name is Oscar Liang. Don't think that's gonna change for a long time. I am 16 years old. I am 17 years old. The date today is January 1st, 2020. Today's a Wednesday. January 1st, 2021. Today's a Friday. Really? Only one that I would consider a friend. I'd say two. I don't have a partner yet. Still single. No one. I'm unemployed and I earn zero dollars every week. My only source of income is pocket money from my parents. I kind of do a bit of stuff every now and then at my dad's office, which is like construction kind of work, you know, renovations of buildings, at a pay of about $100 per day. Still on my learner's license, I drive my mom's car, which is a 2009 Honda Accord. Very nice car. Still that same 2009 Honda Accord, but the difference is that now I'm a provisional driver. An iPhone X. Been using this since the, the 25th of November 2017. Not upgrading anytime soon. An iPhone X. Close, but I'll say my outro song, Ocean Eyes by J. Cosmic. Empty Sky by Desert Star. I guess like blue or kind of like dark blue. Dark blue. I guess steak, just because of how prestigious it is. Steak or sushi. Great stuff. An eagle. It's just, it's fierce, it's fearless, and it soars above the highest skies. An eagle. So high, my friends. Tottenham Hotspur FC. Tottenham Hotspur. I hope this answer never changes. Ideally, I want to be a pilot, but being a pilot is kind of risky. It costs a lot to become one and it's kind of hard. So I say my dream job would probably be a software engineer or like anything to do with computers. If not, teaching is also pretty cool. A software designer or like a teacher. Probably the BMW M5, BMW M6, or the BMW M8. Any, or anything made by BMW, actually. Either the BMW M5 or the M8. I have 136 subscribers on my current channel. 149 on Mighty underscore Eagle 073. 314 on my dead channel. 369 subscribers on Mighty Eagle 73. 92 followers on my Instagram account and 17 on my Twitter that I never use. Well, I drove a car. I finally turned 16 this year and uh, I have the privilege to drive ho 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 a lot of things. Uh, I started working, although to a very less extent. Um, I went on my first cruise ship. I attended my first cubing competition. I drove alone for the first time and I stayed home for two months straight because of the freaking coronavirus. Yep. My sister gave birth to a second child and now I'm the uncle of two kids. Nah. Not that I know of. No, not really, but there is a kid that I talked to for about like five minutes that lost his life in a car accident. No, and I hope for it to stay this way. For the first year of my entire life, the whole year, I've been in Australia. I've never got out of the country for the whole of 2019. Other than that, I've visited Brisbane from the 5th of January to the 14th of January, Melbourne from the 26th of December to the 30th of December and the 12 Apostles on the 28th of December. So, I said last year that for the entirety of the year, I've never been outside of Australia. Well, that is true again for 2020. I actually visited more places outside of Sydney than 2019, even though there was the HSC and the coronavirus. I visited Newcastle on the 30th of March and the Blue Mountains on the 7th of May. And then, of course, the legendary Tasmania trip from December 11th to December 14th. Oh, tough one. My provisional license, I guess. 
which I will get to see anyway, unless I repeatedly fail the driving test. I guess I also want a girlfriend. I freaking no, a girlfriend. Probably gonna stay that way until I actually have one. July 11th, 2019, which is the day I got my license. And July 20th, 2019, the first day I drove a car. August 9th, 2019 as well, that was the first day I started using a calendar, as well as me starting my Prototype 73 Skyblock series. 23rd and 24th of March, when the school shut down because of the coronavirus and the quarantine began. May 11th, which is when the quarantine ended. Uh, June 27th, the day I revived Mighty Eagle 73 and coincidentally, my birthday. August 12th, the day I got my provisional license. Uh, September 25th, the day I graduated high school. Uh, November 6th, the day my HSC was finished. December 11th, when I met up with OS First Timer. And December 12th, when I attended my first ever QB competition. So all the dates. I guess getting like top 10 for a maths exam that I had. Probably me reviving my channel again, getting my first job, and uh, becoming a lone driver. Feels good, that. Another maths exam. My 78 ATOF. I had a mild concussion during a camping trip, which probably led to me actually hallucinating and having severe nausea and headaches a couple of days afterwards. I also caught a cold in June. As for injuries, I've twisted my ankle while going down the stairs in September and got Sergio Ramos by an ex-friend that led to this elbow stuck for a few days. <laughs> Thank God I didn't. Like, if you get sick in 2020, yeah? People are going to think you have the coronavirus and you're going to be treated differently. Like, it doesn't matter what sickness you have. Like, you're going to get treated differently. I haven't bought a lot of things this year, but I guess it'd be my Xbox or maybe like a Rubik's Cube. This Scan 356XS from Daily Puzzles. Pretty good stuff. I, I, guess, I think most of the money that was given to me was spent on food. And then I guess I used more than I should have on gaming as well. Either food or cubes. I spent a total of $645 on cubes with my own money this year. Uh, probably the same amount on food, so yeah, one of the two. I have no freaking idea. Nothing, I mean. I've really just been kind of passive. Oh, <laughs> my provisional license. Like ever since February, I've just been counting down the days until I can drive on my own. Happier, but it's probably only because of that March 31st incident that dragged the whole year's average happiness down. Sadder. Way sadder. I don't see any change. I have no idea. Probably weaker since I stopped all forms of exercise. I got a bit poorer, I guess, only because my dad stopped giving money to me. I'd say no difference. Uh, I still can't buy anything and my pockets are still empty as heck. Studying and uploading videos. Studying. Studying, okay? Procrastinating. Messing around all day, procrastinating and refusing to do work. No, it was a great year, don't get me wrong, but no, I didn't fall in love with 2019. <laughs> You're asking me whether I fell in love with the coronavirus and failing the HSC. Thank you, but no. Don't have one, don't watch TV. Uh, I guess my favorite YouTube series will probably be Football This Week by a YouTuber called FNG, I guess. I haven't watched any TV shows this year. I don't think I've ever have by myself, actually. As for YouTube, uh, it'll be Gaming Through Time by OS First Timer, where Phil gets his mom to try out various games from the 70s to today. Not really. I mean, I did meet some newer people that I got along with very well, but like... Yeah, this guy called Keegan is now my friend again. Not gonna get into the details for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah. I don't really hate anyone right now, but I have lost a friend. This guy called Keegan, he used to be my homie, my brother that I never had. And then we started fighting and I've lost all contact with him now. Once again, I don't hate anyone. There's only the word don't like. I don't read books. I mean, who does in 2019? Probably a lot of people, uh, but I don't. I don't read books. Don't really have any, I guess, Move saxophone jazz by Kenny G. I don't know. Vexento. This guy makes great sounding, calm, in a way dreamy electronic music without vocals. So um, it's pretty great for background music for my YouTube channel. So um, that's why I like it so much. You can, so you can say he's actually carrying my YouTube channel. Driver's license, I guess. My provisional license. Girlfriend, I guess. A good ATAR. Frozen. One of the most heartwarming movies of all time. Frozen 2. It's ironic, isn't it? I went out for like a family plus friends dinner at a buffet. I revived Mighty Eagle 73. Other than that, 
Nothing much. Having a girlfriend. If the freaking coronavirus hasn't even existed at all. <laughs> and also having a girlfriend. I'm doing it again. A dark blue jacket, either black or blue, and maybe some Nikes. A typical teenage beta male outfit. Uh. Dark jacket, skinny jeans, and some Nikes. Being the same for four years. Uh, I, 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 I don't really have one. I, I've had to pick maybe like Harry Kane. Yeah, no, I still don't have one. Harry Kane or Hume Min Son. Just because I'm a Spurs fan. Keep showering defenses, guys. As of right now, not really anyone. Not really anyone who I've been making good contact with or people who have been close to me. I, I guess Maria, just because of how nice she is, despite uh, legit being a party girl that drinks alcohol. Uh, I don't know. I haven't met that many people this year due to certain events, but uh, probably this guy called Brian who transferred to our school at the beginning of this year, who's in a year below us. I think I know all there is to learn. I have no freaking clue, uh. Don't slack off, especially before the most important exam of your life. I guess I also kind of learned that even though humans have such great technology and dominate all life on Earth, we don't dominate the Earth itself. And it only takes one pesky little bummer to decimate our population. So yeah. Those are the questions that I have for those two years. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little comparison thingy. Once again, I might do this every year. Also, know that these responses were a little bit cut down from the original so that this video isn't like 20 minutes long. So make sure you watch these two videos for the full responses that I gave out. But anyway, make sure you hit that like button if you have enjoyed. Uh, let's see if we can get to uh, eight likes. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Can we get 500 subscribers by the end of this month? I mean, <laughs> it is a little bit far-fetched. I know, I know, you didn't even tell me, but uh, I mean, if we believe we can do anything. So come on, 500 subscribers by the end of this month. So do your part and subscribe. We can do it. We just got to believe. Come on, guys. And why not hit that notification bell? But uh, yeah, see you guys all in my next video.